Welcome back, everybody. Checking out our best medicine. Uh, you see a lot of wristbands these days. You see uh, friendship bands. You see heart monitor bands. That's why she uh, runs mm -hmm. around our uh, newsroom during breaks. <laughs> uh, you don't see this, we do. Uh, the question this morning, however, have you seen the wristbands that people use to monitor their sleep? I use one every single night. So the device links up with a smartphone app, right? And it allows you to monitor a person's every toss and turn in bed. Well, guess what? Bad news for me. Turns out these devices may actually be preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. I'm not sure uh. what breakfast has to do with this, but uh, turns out the devices could be preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. I guess people who use them, it seems sure. they think about the fact that you have it on and it means you don't sleep as soundly. I don't know that that's true. How do you sleep with one on? You like I mean, it? I don't sleep well to begin with. I'm on this schedule, right? But good point. It's been fine, and it's interesting to find out when I wake up every morning, the first thing I do is I check the app to see how well I slept or didn't sleep. See, it just vibrated while I was talking. It means I haven't moved and I haven't gotten up and walked around well, in 30 minutes. Why don't you walk minutes. while he's doing this weather report? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you later. Here I go. No, okay. i got to read this next story. Oh. All right. The number of teens using e-cigarettes has tripled. That's according to researchers at the Centers for Disease Control. They say more than a quarter million middle and high school students who were non-smokers used e-cigarettes last year. Teens who smoked them were also twice as likely to say they plan to start smoking tobacco cigarettes. Health experts say the study highlights the need to develop strong regulations about those electronic cigarettes. 5.45, uh, let's check uh, out what we have here. Uh, do you suffer from those horrible hangovers? Well, apparently you can blame your parents. A brand new study revealing that your genes may actually determine your pain level the morning after a night of drinking. The University of Missouri study also finds there are other factors included, no shocker. They include a, the speed at which a person drinks, whether they eat before consuming alcohol, and also a person's tolerance level. Uh, translation, the obvious. <laughs> Yeah. So they got some money for that study, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Any, anything to go do studies on alcohol. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? We're, let's get $100,000 so we can sit around and drink and then come up with a study. Yes. Uh, now, see, my band party. vibrated, so see okay, you later, yeah, guys. Okay. You talk okay. weather. Just keep, uh, yeah. uh, we're going to get you a little treadmill. Gonna I'm gonna go do, I'll do some sit-ups over here. Okay, Mark, awesome. I'm going to go gonna stand over at the giant green me. board <laughs> and uh, tell you about uh, what's going on. This morning, we've got temperatures. In the 70s, 70s going up the daytime highs up into the 80s today. We're going to see those 80s be a little more comfortable, a little more kinder than they were here. in the uh, you know last 24 hours. That's lap one. 71 <laughs> degrees in Elmhurst this hour. 71 degrees in Oak Lawn. We're going to do uh, highs up into the 80s today and into the 70s and 80s over the next several days. 83 degrees your high temperature today. 76 degrees tomorrow. Nice, comfortable lower temperatures, 79 degrees on Thursday with still about a 35 to 40 percent chance of some showers and thunderstorms. And then uh, we've got really a chance of some wet weather between now and the weekend as well. Now let's look at future casting.